Hey, it's Brandon, and here's five tips to clean your shower like a pro. Number one, choose the right cleaner. I've used just about every shower and tub cleaner on the market. I've even tested hacks like toilet bowl cleaner and oven cleaner. Now, some work okay, others carry a high risk of causing damage. Here are the two that I use on a daily basis and recommend. First is Barkeeper's Friend More Spray. What I love about this is it's gentle enough where it's not gonna cause damage to your shower surface. However, it's strong enough and it's acid-based, so it's gonna cut through any sort of hard water buildup that you have and break through that soap scum. Second is for all my DIY fans. It's a simple, easy mix you can make at home. It's just a cup of white vinegar, a cup of water, and a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap. What I like about this is it's pretty cheap to make, but it's also strong enough to cut through all that hard water buildup because the vinegar is acidic and it breaks through the soap scum too. But you might be thinking, Brandon, I have natural stone in my shower. Can I use this stuff? Now, a good rule of thumb is to never use an acid-based cleaner on natural stone. It can wear away the stone, cause damage, and you're not gonna have a good time. What I recommend is just mix up a cup of water and a teaspoon of Dawn in a spray bottle, and you should be good to go. Now, one of the toughest things to clean can be the non-slip textured base of the tub. Stick around for point number four, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to clean that. Number two, choose the right scrubber. It's key to pick something that will not scratch the surface. My go-to is a scrub daddy. These are non-scratch, but strong enough to break through, again, that hard water and soap scum. Now, scrub daddies work amazing, but you're still the daddy doing the scrubbing, so if you wanna speed up your cleaning process, a drill brush comes in super handy, especially on showers. You can get one just like this, or one that attaches to your already existing drill, they're a total game changer. Just be sure to always select soft or medium stiffness bristles because again, we don't want to scratch the surface. Number three, a razor blade scraper. Now, wasn't I just talking about non-scratch scrubbers and the right cleaners to not damage the surface? Yes, yes I was. Let me explain. So a lot of times when you run into really bad buildup on a shower, what you have to do is apply the cleaner, scrub, rinse, apply the cleaner, scrub, rinse, and so on and so forth until you get the surface clean. So a great way to think about it is just like shaving. You wanna make sure the surface is wet, go at the right angle, and most importantly, go slow. There's no rush whatsoever, and it's safe to use. So number four isn't necessarily a product or a thing, it's a process. The process to properly clean your non-slip, bumpy, textured base of your tub. Now, as a professional cleaner, this has been a thorn in my side. One of the hardest things to clean properly, but I found that using a product called Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser. Now, this is a creamy consistency. You apply this to the base of your tub. Then you take a soft bristle brush, or again, going back to step number two, your drill brush, Scrub that in really well, let it sit for a bit, rinse it away, and it should be nice and clean. Number five is to rinse and wipe down the entire shower top to bottom with a microfiber towel. Now, I personally like to keep just something like this, a simple cup in my cleaning kit. This works great at getting those areas that maybe the shower head or the faucet can't reach. Rinsing is so important because you wanna get rid of the residue and all the dirt and grime. Now, once everything's nice and rinsed and you feel that it's good to go, grab some microfiber towels, dry, and wipe down top to bottom. This will not only get rid of any remaining residue, but also shine it up great so your shower looks amazing. If you have glass shower doors and have really bad hard water buildup, check out my video right here and I'll teach you how to clean that up.